Welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. I am going to show you my streptocarpus plants today. Today is watering day so I've got them all together here and I have all very young plants uh, in various stages of growth. Some doing really well like this one and others not so great. The majority of these I purchased back in April through June of this last year from Violet Farm, which is a website online. And they have amazing plants. And I saw Streptocarpus on their website never heard of it before and thought to myself I want to try these because the flowers just look so beautiful and I love the foliage the foliage to me is also that bright green and then here's one flower that's blooming right now just opening up I grow these in my east window it's got a sheer curtain over it and I water them in the summertime I was doing twice a week and depending on the in-home temperature if it's over 70 pretty much throughout I'm still watering them mostly two times a week or once every five days or so especially these smaller pots right here they can dry out fairly quick because I have a little miniature fan on them I've been struggling a little bit with powdery mildew and so airflow is I found is very important for these plants as well as not overwatering them. They should be treated like succulents is what I've learned. They are related to African violets. So I use African violet mix. I've repotted only these two so far into these larger pots. What I was reading is it says once they bloom you should repot them. However, once I repotted these two, they've not really flourished too much. So I'm just holding back a little bit. Several of these other ones here in the smaller pots have bloomed, but I'm just giving it a little bit more time to see if they'll strengthen. And, but the key with these, like I said, I found airflow and make sure you don't overwater. It's better to underwater these than to overwater. Today is watering day, and part of the reason that is because I can see this is very floppy. It is showing me, hey, I'm thirsty. And they bounce back pretty well, unless the leaf is dying. But for the most part, I catch it in time and give them the water that they need. And I water until uh, water soaks through and dribbles out of the bottom. And that's pretty much it. I, I do use a fertilizer, so I guess that's not it. I do use a fertilizer, it's the high phosphorus type to help boost the blooms. And I've had some success. I'll show some pictures of the ones I've been able to bloom so far and the various colors. They're pretty much all shaped the same, but they have such a variety of beautiful colors in the blooms. And I had one streptocarpus that had variegated leaves, but unfortunately it didn't make it. So I'm hoping this spring Violet Barn might offer that one again and hopefully I'll be able to 
not kill that one. So, but this is my Streptocarpus collection and I've been enjoying them, learning a lot, and we'll keep everyone posted as I continue to learn. Hope you have a good day.